Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Concept Clear. In today's class, we will discuss about authentication requirements in the subject of cryptography network security. Okay, here what is meaning of authentication requirements? Authentication requirements means authentication means verification of the user. Okay, to verify the user, to verify any user, it is a, it is a authorized user or not. For that authentication, what the, what is the requirements? Okay, so here we have following kinds of the attacks in the context of the communication over the network. Okay, generally when the data is exchanging between sender to receiver, these are the following type of the attacks will be happen. Okay, how these attacks will be? Uh, these attacks will be authenticate. It is a genuine user or not. Okay, the first one is the disclosure. What is meaning of disclosure means? It is a I am writing here the definition for disclosure. It is nothing but what? Disclosure is nothing but it is a release of the message contents to any person or a process, any person or process not crossing the appropriate cryptography key. Okay, here release of the message contents to any person or process but it not crossing the appropriate cryptography key it is in the disclosure. Okay, the second one is the traffic analysis. What do you mean of traffic analysis? A traffic analysis is nothing but if the data is encrypted, then the attacker will be simply observe what type of data is sending from sender to receiver, like what is the pattern of the message and what is the size of the message, what is the time of the message, and what is the uh, what is the brand width they are using for sending the message. This type of analysis will be recorded by the traffic analysis attack. Okay, here. These two attacks are will come under confidentiality. Okay, these two under come, comes under confidentiality. What is the confidentiality? It is the passive attack. This is the passive attack. Okay, and these two are the under passive attack. Okay, and what about masquerade attack? Masquerade attack is nothing but insertion of the messages. Okay, in masquerade attack, insertion of the messages into the network from me unauthorized source that means not authorized person okay what is meaning authorized it means inserting messages into a network okay and you can insert the messages and and what about the context modification context modification is nothing but changes to the content contents of the message okay the content modification means the changes of the content content of the message including will insert the data delete the data as well as the transposition of the data it means changing in the order of the message and also will modify the data in content modification okay and next one is sequence modification what is meaning of sequence modification means the any modification to be to a sequence of the messages between parties including insertion deletion and reordering that is called sequence modification and the next one is timing modification. What is the meaning of timing modification means? It will disturb the messages uh, delivery timings like the de delay the message de message delivery or replay the, the messages. The message will be repeatedly sent from sender to receiver. That is called timing modification. And what is the source modification? Source modification is nothing but denial of the transmission of the messages by source. Okay, means Simply from the source, the data, the message transmission will be delayed. That is called source modification and the destination modification. What is meaning of destination modification is denial of recipient of the message by destination. Same like that, the receive sender side, it will be delayed the message. That is called destination modification. We have totally eight authentication requirements. In this, only the authentication requirements. First two will come under the confidentiality in the under passive attacks and what about these four will comes under these four will comes under message authentication these four will comes under message authentication why because here we are checking for messages okay message insertion message mod uh, message modifications and message sequence modification message timing modification so these are all under message authentication and what about if you see if you check these all under also come under digital signature digital signature 
this is about the authentication requirement. Okay, you have totally eight type of uh, several type of the attacks here. These are the eight. You have to these eight requirements when you are checking the authentication. Okay, here first two one comes under confidentiality, and these are the under passive attacks, and next three are comes under message authentication, and also digital signatures. Okay, if you have any doubts, please ask me in the comment section. Thank you. ना चैनल पेर गुर्त हुंदिगा, प्लीज, लाइक, शेर, इन सब्सक्राइब, एंटी